Good morning. So uh, today, continue with uh, Snippy Pixie next. Um, so let's get the ID open. Let's see what we got. So we have. Okay, we've got some. Uh, we've got some tests uh, where we create a snippet um, and we get a snippet. Might need to change that to match that. Um, and we've started working on a little library that we're going to use for the basis for um, a snippet pixie daemon, um, which will then be talked to by a CLI and GUI app. So uh, one of the things we need to do is obviously set up a database. Um, and so far, we've just done the bare minimum of creating a brand new schema um, because we don't have um, any code here to look to see whether the database has the required tables and so on. Um, we're going to have to deal with that soon. Um, and then we have um, a function for creating a snippet, given an abbreviation and body text. Um, and then another one for doing um, a get of that snippet uh, by abbreviation. Um, so what's next um, in the list of things? Um, let's see. Now we've got the new manager thing there. Oh, one thing I noticed was that um, I'm not testing whether the DB actually contains anything. It is possible that you could pass in a nil here. Um, so I should probably protect against that. Um, so let's do a quick, just in case, because this library could potentially be used by um, other other apps and stuff or i might just forget to do things or do it wrong or whatever um which is very likely so let's do um we haven't got any tests here yet for creating a new manager that is a very good point okay we need to do that that's for sure okay Let's do that and make sure that we've got a little bit of protection there before, because we are using that already. We need to test it before we use it. So, okay. Funk, uh, test. There we go. Um, so what we'll need is we'll need the is again, um, and then we're going to do <clears throat> let's do a quick test that will show that do we do a happy path first and then do failures around that probably best actually um yeah let's do that let's do a quick happy test happy path test which is basically going to be everything we do here. And then we're going to, do we need to do anything else there? Don't think so. That should be enough. Um, we don't need to do anything on that. Okay. 
Let's see if that just passes. Okay, passed. And now let's do a, a failure test. So let's do uh, test manager. Um, actually, no, test new manager. Uh, nil db try that so same kind of thing here but what we're going to do is simply try and start things up with nil. So we will pass in. Hmm, will that actually even compile? It won't will it? I need to pass in something. So we'll pass in nil. Um and We are signing a new error. We're not expecting a manager to come back of any use. Um, and we are expecting an error. So what else have we got here? Oops. Right, so that's not true. So we do want to see an error. So how do we test for a real error here? On is. We have we just have these, don't we? Okay, so we'll probably just have to do equal here. Uh, don't have any examples. It's a shame. So we have an equal, which is probably not going to work. We're passing back an error. We don't want to just fail. We want the opposite. So we're probably going to have to do a true. Okay, so what we want here, so is true. Oh, actually, I wonder if equal will work. Ooh. No. No. The true uh, not equal to nil. Does that work? Let 
diversi. Cool, okay. That's that's a failing test. And I kind of expected that because I'm not doing anything with that nil. I should protect um against it. So um if D B equals nil What we're going to do here, um, we're going to return nil and let's start new. Um, New past as DB. That's what we do. Okay. See whether that fixes it. It does. Cool. All right. So we protect it against a nil DB coming in. We've already got a little test there for db ping. So in theory, we can also do a test where we've not opened it. So we could basically just close it straight away, I guess. Could try that. So let's take this previous one. Test new manager closed DB. So we do create a DB reference. It's fine, and then we just close it. Right, let's um Really, what's the hmm. oh, okay. Should read the error. Okay, so we're going to close it straight away. Um, and then we're going to try. And get an error. So we should, in theory. Well, let's. Right, so this will fail because I'm checking for no error. Um, so let's make sure that fails that test. Yep database is closed. That looks good. So now we want to do um, another kind of nil DB type thing. So we'll just take that. That's what we really need really care about making sure it is an error returned and it passes cool good stuff all right
So let's commit that off for the moment. Uh, so this change will add a few tests. Um, snip it. Okay, so we've added a little bit of stuff here, so we're good there. Nil past as DB. Dun, dun, dun. Right. What have we got so far on actual functionality? We can create a snippet and we can get by abbreviation. Another really important thing we want to do is get a list of abbreviations um, based on whether they end with the passed in abbreviation. So let's do that. Uh, so let's create a function test first. Um, I think I'm going to change that. Get snippet by abbreviation so it matches the function we're testing. like create. I'm going to change that. I'm going to refactor that. I think I prefer add snippet. This is simple. All right, so it changes in there and in there, good. And it also changes here, yes. So it's changed there, it's changed in there. Okay. I'll just do a quick run of that. Make sure nothing's broken there. Oh, test is really needs renaming. I'll we'll create. Manager add snippet, get snippet by appropriation. Okay. <clears throat> That's all the changes we've made there. Okay. Save that before we do anything else.
Okay. Right. Let's create a failing test. So what we're going to do here then, we're going to do, um, let's get the basics up and running. Take all that. So what we're going to do here is we're going to do get snippets. Oh, so no. Ending with Abbreviation. Don't really need the abbreviation bit, do we? Get snippets ending with. If I do keep abbreviation, at least it's specific to the input. Because that's all I'm going to be looking up on. Me, yeah, can always change it later. Refactoring in, be good. Right, so. Let's um, fix up these defers while we're here, because I don't like these yellow things. Let's do... Can I do anything here? When you do a defer, can you still assign something? Presumably not. Let's try. Uh... No, didn't think so. Hmm. How do you get rid of that yellow thing then? Okay. Hmm. All right, so can I just... Can I just do a anonymous... function? What's the syntax for that then? Uh, I thought I just did one. Okay, how do I do? Um, go lang. Oh, actually, they call it closure, don't they? Defer. Hmm. Not really what I want to do.
I want. That's a close there. Why is that's weird? Let's see then. Do I just need to add that then? Why? Seems a bit messy. All that just to get rid of the uh, one hand or whatever. I'm going to find defer here, am I? There we go. Okay, well, I suppose I could just do it properly then. I could actually test the return. It would make for a more complete test.
So I use that format. Yeah, if if I do that, Can I do a message there? Right, okay. Um on db dot close okay let's try that take that there that one we want to just do its do don't care about it that one so this one we do care about this one care about and we will be caring about this one too. Okay. Turn out for a sec. Okay. Good stuff. Right. So here we're going to be calling a function that doesn't exist. So All right, what we're expecting back is a bunch of snippets. Um oh no, here we are. Here we're going to create some snippets and we don't really care about don't care about whether we get anything back. That's good. Just don't want errors. We'll do another one. And this one is going to be um, BP White Pixie and then something else completely so let's do uh, just do So we're creating three snippets, um, two of which have an ending which is p backtick. And let's actually separate them to make sure there's no. Yeah, and it gets and it gets the first or something like zero and one so we'll make a separation there 
Um, and then we'll <clears throat> in theory get some sort of result without an error from manager dot get snippets yeah ending with abbreviation which is a lot to type and we'll pass in well, we'll do happy path first. So we'll do that. And we're expecting, in theory, two back. But seeing as there is no uh, function there, that's not really going to do a lot. So let's create it. Same. It's not really an abbreviation, but I guess I'll do. And we we're going to turn I think we'll return a slice of snippet and I don't think for the time being we'll make it a pointer it'll just be a new copy because it's Yeah, that should do. Um, and we are going to return now. Now. Because we haven't done anything yet. Get snippets ending with abbreviation returns all snippets that end with given abbreviation fragment. I think I need to rename this get snippet by abbreviation compared to get snippets ending with abbreviation. I can't do get snippets ending by abbreviation. That doesn't really work. But I could do get snippet with abbreviation. And that would sound a bit better and be more consistent. Let's just do that. Okay. 
That's not a real error then. That's just uh, you haven't been used. Okay. Let's do so we don't want an error. And what can we test here for the result? Um is equal is there a count I've done get out of the way thing Let's have a look at slice stocks. Oh, I think it's Len, isn't it? Yep, there we go, Len. Yeah, so length is how many you've got, how many values you've got, but capacity is how much the underlying array could take before it needs to be resized. That's fine. Okay, so let's do that. The length of the result. Um, it's two. That's what we we're expecting when we've implemented it. So it should fail now, but nothing else should. That's good. Okay, get snippets and do with abbreviation, blah, blah, blah. That's fine. And yeah, zero is not equal to two. Interesting that uh, the nil return happily handles happily length checked and stuff. Good. Okay, let's do very quick because I've kind of rapidly running out of time. Let's see what we can uh, rustle up here. Um, what we need is. Well, we can steal a bunch of this stuff up here. Um, actually, I'll just take it all. Uh, I'm just going to refactor in a sec. So we're going to be doing rows. So is that right? Is there such a thing? It's just clear, isn't it? <laughs> okay. And I can't scan that just now. So I want rows. So here, um, if I is not going to nil, let's go no errors, return nil, nil, that's fine. Otherwise, return the error. Um, now we want to just basically whip over them, don't we? So 
Let's look at the docs. I think it's we just use a range, don't we? Yeah, that's not what I wanted. Standard packages. It's a bit awkward, isn't it? So if I just, oh, they just do it four, okay. Oh, must do that. Okay, so we'll steal this little snippet from here. Will we? Do we need to? Let's do it. We will do it, but we'll not do obviously the fail. <laughs> we don't have that here. Should I just panic? do much but at least we've got a log message seems a little bit excessive though mm. okay so anyway what we're going to do here is we're just going to four rows dot next do we need to close it off Okay. 
there might be a better way of me doing the the log of me thing as well actually just do a fatal it doesn't really make any doesn't make any sense to mention the close we doing here rose scan what I really should do is just nick some code from my goal monitor because there we go yeah let's grab that Reappropriate. So, don't need that. Updated data can be last used. Got an ID. We should have an abbreviation. Body. Last used. Irritating. Irritating. Iterating over snippets. Yep. Here we want to and we're not doing that anymore. It's a good point. We are using just time. The only reason I did um, all this in 64 stuff in Goal Monitor is because it's been passed back and forward through uh, job, uh, JSON. So I need to be careful about the type. Um, so, but here I don't, it's all in memory, in go, coming direct from a database. So we don't actually need to do that and can instead that. don't need to do any of that. Do you need to update that? Select type from snippets where abbreviation like nope. Oh. 
Ooh, I am out of time. That was a late reminder. It's supposed to have been reminded 10 minutes ago. Okay, uh, okay, so I'll probably just finish this off later. To do fix SQL and finish scan, etc. Okay, but I've got to go. So we're only partly through fixing up this function, but basically we're going to fix up the SQL there, finish off the sinus stuff, uh, which I'll just give it a similar this here. There we go. I haven't got any snippets yet, uh, which I'll just quickly grab. just going to be like this. It's just going to be one of them, basically, a slice. Um, so let's just grab that at the top. Well, actually, no, we could do that here. Do it close. Ah, oh, snippets equals a slice of snippet. Um, oh, it's not any course, is it? Uh, yeah, do the thing, do the thing. Uh, and then we're going to have to move that in. But I am definitely out of time, so i got to go. Uh, so, uh, Thanks for watching, um, and until next time, when I'll hopefully finish off that function, um, I will speak to you later. Take care.